Hey YouTube, I uh, wanted to stop by today and talk about Sophia. Someone had asked about that a few days ago and um, a, f a few aspects of Sophia. Um, there were several problems with Sophia and there were several reasons for her getting dropped from the Trinity. Um, the first problem, um, the most important problem I think with Sophia was that Sophia is only good for one thing in essence, because Sophie is the barrier between life and afterlife, uh, or part of that barrier there. She's only good for one thing and that's getting through. So, um, Sophia is good for apocalypse unveiling, you know, and in apocalypse, when you, when you have a revealed theology and you're, you're working with apocalypse and Sophia, it has the tendency to spawn new theologies all the time. So, it's really only good in the initial stages of a theology. Later on, Sophia, Sophia and Apocalypse need to be pushed aside uh, for something more stable. Otherwise, you just keep generating these theologies. Eventually, a theology won out, and that was Catholicism. And uh, Sophia was sidelined. The second problem with Sophia is that she was a far lesser deity, even from the beginning. Now, there are several different uh, ideas on Sophia, you know, whether she's a form or part of the God Godhead, you know, an androgynous part of the Godhead, you know, or I'm sorry, the, the female part that makes the Godhead androgynous or, um, you know, a lesser deity or what have you. But in most of those, she was far down the food chain compared to Logos and Spirit. Logos and Spirit are generally way up top uh, with God. And then Sophia may or may not be there. So she's way down the food chain, easy easy to knock off eventually. And then the third part of that is that Sophia eventually became the story of Mary. Both Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Mary Magdalene, are um, they are both um, aspects of Sophia or uh, representatives of Sophia. And uh, when it talks in Revelation 12 about the birth event, uh, where you know the woman with the clothes of the sun with the moon under her feet and the crown of 12 stars on her head, crying out in pain, she's about to give birth, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that story eventually became the story of Mary, but in that particular text, it doesn't say Mary, it doesn't say Sophia, but it is in the book of Apocalypse, and Apocalypse is all about Sophia. That's all it is. It's about revealing Sophia, the wisdom of Sophia. So, uh, and again, Apocalypse and Sophia are highly, highly related. So, uh, and like I, like I said earlier, and the later you get into the tradition you get, the less important those need to become. Otherwise, your theology just keeps on spinning off these new theologies, uh, new, new revelations all the time. You know, everybody wants to reveal wisdom, you know, but uh, she got pushed aside and eventually was replaced, in essence, with a, a human version uh, in Mary. And also Mary Magdalene. These are two different versions of, of uh, Sophia Wisdom. So I guess that's all I got for you today. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye.